Now we've already looked at basic arrays, but now we're going to look at something slightly different, which is multi-dimensional arrays. And really, the the only um, the only thing to really understand here is that we can have arrays within arrays, and we can have that at um, you know as many levels as we want, really. So we're going to modify the array that we created in the last part, and we're going to change this to locations rather than location. And we're going to do this slightly differently. Instead of providing a string value, we're actually going to provide another array of values. So, for example, if we pass a list of places uh, of locations here. What we can do is, uh, if we put, place these just on another line, just so they're a little bit more readable, um, we're already printing our on uh, this person array, and uh, we can go ahead and open our web browser now and just take a look at what this looks like. So what's happened here now is that we've provided an array of values. So we've got an associative array uh, on the very outer level, and then as we come in, we've got a string value assigned to the name. Uh, key, a uh, integer assigned to the age key, and to the locations key we have another array which is a numerical array or a numeric array. So we've now placed an array within an array. So uh, you know we can do this another level deep as well. Um, so we could say, for example, Greenwich um, e um, array. So we could say something like um, new. Elton and Central Greenwich. So if I go ahead and refresh now, you can see that's gone another level deep. Now this uh, I find makes it you know makes it a lot easier to read uh, in terms of inspecting what levels we can get to. Um, but let's just remind ourselves of what it looks like if we don't include our pre-formatted tags, um, because actually this does complicate things a lot. So if we just use a print R, it's very difficult to determine where the different positions uh, of, of the array start and which arrays are with, within which. So remember that when you are working with uh, any arrays really, using pre-formatted HTML tags makes it extremely easy to see which level deep you are because we get the indentation, we preserve this indentation formatting. Now we want to know how we can actually access these certain arrays. So let's just say we want to get the location of this person um, at um, within sort of I don't know um, within Greenwich, for example, and uh, then say the first position of this. So in this case, what we can do is we could say uh, let's come down here and echo out say person, and we want to say locations. Now remember, because we've assigned a value, or if you like, or an array to this, this has now become the key. So what we're actually doing is we're mixing associative and uh, num numeric um, values. But if we knew for for some other reason, and you know, when you're looping through these, you can check. But if we know that we want to get the location uh, first, say visited in Greenwich, um, this will be at position zero within Greenwich within locations of the person array. So everything here sort of fits in and makes sense. And when we refresh, we see this just outputs new Elton. So, you know, it's a good idea to create arrays as complex as you like. Um, arrays are brilliant to store data. Of course, we can add data to arrays as well. So all we really need to do is say something like, um, let's say we want to update position two, and we want to say um, outer Greenwich, for example, what we've now done is if we were to go ahead and uh, print R on this after we have assigned a value to this, we can um, see that we have a new item added here. So we can manipulate rate arrays as well as um, you know create them on you know like this. Um, you'll obviously find as well that big data sets like um, database results come back in an array format often and also things like if we're working with JSON in PHP if you were to take JSON and decode it you would find that we'd get it back in an array form 
and then we can work with it as an array. So arrays are extremely useful as in uh, as a sort of temporary data storage um, inside of your code and it just makes it uh, easy to work with, uh, with data. So in this we've just basically looked at uh, multi-dimensional arrays and assigning a value to an array uh, which can obviously be done at any position at all. So um, that pretty much covers the basics of arrays in PHP.